Hello everyone, so in this question, what do we have here? It's the next in the series question. So, looking at a pattern with, between each of these uh, figures and CA, what are we going to have end up with the next one? Okay, so how do we approach any question, um, any next in the series question? We take a look at the components that are presented in all of them. So, we have a black ball, a white ball, and a shaded one. Okay, let's now focus on one component at a time. Let's focus on the black one and look at the What's, what's happening between it in, uh, between figures A, B, A and B, okay? So between A and B, it's just moving two steps to the right, okay? So in, in any 3x3 three three grid, what are the different possibilities that we can have in terms of movement, okay? So um, first, firstly, we can have it such that a ball or a shape just goes across. When it reaches the end, it comes to the other side, like that, okay? So when it reaches there, it'll come that side, and so on. The other thing we can have is that when it reaches the end of movement, it just comes around in like a circle, circular so format like that. Um, and this can go um, vertically as well, okay, and so on. So in this this black ball from A to B moves plus two to the right, and from B to C, what what happens to it? It it, it ends up in the middle one. So according to our possibilities that we can have for the movement of a figure. It has to have gone from there to 1 and 2. Okay. So again, it's a plus 2. And then 1, 2, landing up here, plus 2. Since it's plus 2 all the way, we can safely say the answer is going to be plus 2 from this one, so it's just 1, 2. It's going to be end up either here or here, so let's cancel all these out. Okay, now we've figured out one component. Let's look at the other component. Um, say, let's look at the white one. It's not really present in A, so we can make an assumption uh, that it's underneath, hiding somewhere there. So white ball goes down. And in C, it's over here. So again, it's going just vertically across, I'm uh, sorry, diagonally across, therefore it lands up over here. And the next one's going to be here, like this one. We can just tick D and move on. But let, let me just see if we can um, explain how the gray one also moves. Okay. Uh, sorry, the shaded one. Okay. Again, we're going to have to assume it's over there. Um, down. And we have to assume it's under here. Uh, but if that doesn't work, then we can go ahead and assume it's over there. So from A to B, it's moving plus two um, downwards like that. Following the green arrow, um, when it reaches the end, it goes plus 2, so 1, 2, it ends up here, and 1, 2, ends up up here, and therefore 1, 2, end up here, which will be shadowed by the black, and that fits. Okay? Therefore, the answer is D.